and the A3 class has been called out onto the dummy boot. So this is a 62 to 72 kilogram class. 50cc mini bikes. Plenty of entrance. Thirty-three on the program. Thirty-three entrance on the program. Reasonably um, spread out uh, fields in terms of numbers from each uh, each school. Fielding high school two, four, six. Brisbane two, four, two, four, six. Taupo two. JPCR. We've got four Tararua College. We've got a couple TASC. A couple Freiburg. There's quite a few from Freiburg. There's about six and. Lytton High School is comes in with another 246, so 33 competitors on the track. Green flag goes out and is being dropped. Cloud of two stroke smoke. Be interesting to see what sort of mix these people run on. So it's about 30 or 40 years since I run a two stroke. Um, of course, with uh, modern technology and modern rules and the move to synthetic oils, the uh, ratio has changed, even my weed has changed and what uh, what I put into that, but uh, that's just uh, from a technical point of view, I'd be interested, but this is a 62 to 72 kilogram 50cc mini bike class, we had uh, 255, Taylor Law had a win, because I qualified in pole position, 590 is Tawa Kane in second spot in the first race, and 210 is Tyler Zane there in third spot. So we'll see Tyler Zane qualified second, Tawi Kani in fourth place. So same old suspects out there already. We've got a uh, uh, substantial lead actually. That's uh, probably 80, even 100 metres there for the first uh, place bike. Yeah, I remember this one last time around. It was huge. But uh, two, four, five people all having a go there for second, third, fourth and fifth and uh, changing positions already. We've got a three lap race here. And we're most of the way through the first lap here at Manfield uh, Circuit. Chris Amon. Don't forget the Suzuki Series, Suzuki International Series, they call it now. They used to call it the Tri Series up until 2011. Uh, and that is happening. Uh, it's changed its format a little bit. It used to be a day's racing here at Manfield in the second round day at Taupo the weekend before in the cemetery circuit. Excuse me, they're now doing two days at Manfield and two days at Taupo in the uh, cemetery circuit for it's been going since 1951. Will be a one day event as it always well, it has been most of the years. It's a few decades since they had a two day event there. So the Suzuki series taking in um, two week, two days racing and uh, top international riders in many ways. It's actually a high profile meeting, way higher profile than the New Zealand Superbike Championship. They have uh, broader classes. Instead of being super bike and super sport specific, they've got four minute classes so you can reel in some bikes, uh, some older bikes that are non-competitive in their super sport or super bike class and they can be uh, formula which means putting in some kind of parts and, uh, and the racing is great. The international sidecar riders over here as well uh, and uh, it should be a really electric season. It's Formula 1 and Formula 2 sidecars in the New Zealand Superbike Championship, they only have the Formula 1 there. There are Formula 2 bikes in amongst them, but they haven't got enough in the countryside to uh, provide a full field. So Taylor Law in the front there with a 123.938. So he's eight seconds ahead of Brody Winterson there in second spot there. Tyler Zane, Zane. in third. Nathan Collins followed by Jan Kuhl. Toa Kane, Heath Code, and Drayton. And Brian Howard, that's the top eight. Tyler Walters, Scott Walker, Benjamin McConnon. Benjamin McConnon. Corbin Robinson, Brad Hall, Billy Young and Cole Rosie. Uh, that was around 15 places. And uh, behind them we had Andrew Collins, Ben Duck, Tony Nata, Michael Story. That's all I've got because uh, there's only 19 people on my screen. So looking out for Taylor. Country mile ahead stuff. 11.924. Uh, just linked to you suddenly today. 11.924 seconds ahead of Brody Winterson, so good racing for most of the other boys and girls out there, but he's just a country mile ahead and uh, certainly flying. Look at that going through those S's, just uh, doesn't button off. Most of the bikes don't button off, but he's considerably quicker there and uh, certainly looking forward to the chequered flag. The white flag is out now. This class has no uh, sponsors listed in the programme. As such, no sponsors there listed in the program. Got to uh, bring some of the sponsors to you as well while we're waiting for uh, Taylor Law to come through. 
Suzuki Jicks are cut, Mini Moto New Zealand. We've got uh, Manitou District Council, MNZ, and U Cole as well as uh, Competence in Z. So there's a the ticket flag goes out, and that lead is by, well, he put in a 118.888 to Taylor Law. I'm going to write down race two, first, second, and third. I'm going to write 255 down there for first. We still going to wait a little bit of time. We're expecting, I think, 259 Brody Winderson to come across the start finish line when he goes there. And uh, that's 27.7 seconds. So uh, 259 in the second spot. And uh, 590 in the third. So uh, Toa in the third last race was second spot there. And in fourth spot, I think we got uh, 210 gone through there. So a change of position there, just in the minor money. Got 255. Country mile ahead, 20.74 seconds ahead. Uh, Nathan Collins there in fifth place. Jane Quill, followed by Heath Code Drayton, Brian Howard on the 201 machine, Tyler Walters, and Scott Walker. That is the top 10 in this class. That's assuming Tyler Waters comes through because uh, we've only got him listed down as two laps. So we're looking out for Tyler Waters on the 26 machine uh, with the numbers that are about 26 millimetres tall. Work out it's a two digit number, he's gone through there and clipped off the transponder. And uh, Scott Walker has, Walker has gone through there in 10th spot. Corbin Robertson goes through there in 11th and expecting, I think, uh, who we get next, uh, Benjamin McConnell not to come through on the timing system. Yet. Bit of a delay in the timing system today, a couple of guys falling over there in the uh, off the side of the track there. Whether they've crashed or bikes are broken down, it's irrelevant. They still look okay. No ambulance has been called. They're just tired. They've been pushing their bikes for a while. Right, that's that done and dusted. That's the uh, A2 group. That's race 12 of the afternoon. And